Hi, this is Tim with Setlist Helper. I'm going to show you how to import your songs into the Setlist Helper app. So I have all these songs in this folder here on Windows. I have some MP3 files that I'm going to use for later, but I have a couple text files and a PDF files. You can use document files and various other files that are listed in the blog for attaching documents to Setlist Helper. I'm going to copy all these files and if you have your device hooked up to your computer, which you should, you click your device and you go to the SD card. For now I'm going to the internal SD card. So I have a folder here called Setlist Helper. If you don't have this folder, you can create this folder. I will tell you how to change this folder later if you wanted to import from an external SD card. For now let's just use this. I'm going to paste these files here. And I'm just going to get some Windows warnings. I'll just skip those. And now let's go to the device. And this is the song tab. I am going to, as you notice, I'm on the songs. I'm going to the import. And you'll get an import warning telling you're importing from Setlist Helper. And I'm going to select OK to that. And those files that I just put in that folder are now imported. I have three songs. I'm also going to show you how to attach an MP3. Notice uh, last step I put an MP3 into the directory and now I'm going to browse for those MP3 files. For... I'm going to go to that setlist folder, setlist helper folder, and I'll just select Wonderful Tonight. It's it's unrelated to Foggy Day, so this is just an example. Now I can go into Foggy Day and play that backing track. And I also want to show you that this Dreams file, this was pre-formatted. This had some chord pro tags in it. They had the title, the subtitle, the tempo, and the key. If you have those items, those will be imported as well. And you can figure out what those are by looking at the insert tab. Now the final part, I'm going to go to the settings, or the preferences rather, and show you how to change that document directory. So there's a directory here called document directory. Notice how it's the setlist helper directory. So you can choose any directory that you've created, or you can choose the external folder directory and go into SD card oh, that was the that's the main SD card you can go into mount and choose external SD card and you can import from your external SD card there's more information on that on the setlist helper blog and that is importing songs into setlist helper